I'm Aubrey. I've been living on a small boat for about six years. I recently bought a pirate ship. And right now she's waiting for mass and rigging in Washington. So in order to earn a few bucks to pay for the project, we've taken on a boat flip. It's a 1996 37 Hunter. Thank you so much to our patrons for making these videos possible. I know uh -oh. it's probably rude to show you this, but we're gonna replace the toilet. Um, the porcelain's like been eaten off the inside. It's pretty bad. So we're gonna put a new one in. It was $160 well spent. Uh -oh. For the faint of heart, turn away. Ooh, gross. Should we just leave it here? <laughs> yeah, so you peas in it. I get T-Rex arms when it's plumbing time, so I'll be over here in the corner filming. When Searle came aboard, he had to agree to be the official plumber. I don't think he knew just how much plumbing he was gonna have to do. The camera's gonna smell like fish. And just like that, it's magically fixed. To be honest, I couldn't even watch. Our deal is for every toilet job Searle has to do, I buy him a bottle of whiskey. I thought Billy Ray Cyrus had left us. He's not there. And then, I see he's trying to leave us. Fly away! Fly away! Come on! Fly away! Whoop. Uh oh. Hey babe! Bye. Babe, go get Billy Ray, I scared him. He's floating away. Billy Ray Cyrus, the seabird that we rescued, has been living here rent free for about a month. He eats about $10 in bait fish a week. We still love him though. In Billy Ray news, he's not ready to be flying away yet. Oh. So I like, ow! <laughs> rescue team out for you. You're just floating away. Aw, you gotta dry out and fly away, buddy. Are you coming to Washington? You wanna live in a Formosa and poop on that? So today is tomorrow and yesterday is right now. <laughs> Billy Ray left us. His little flight, his little failure to launch was his last day with us. I really wanted to see him fly away and like launch him into the air and have him like fly into the sunset. Um, that was the vision that I had in my mind. Um, but that didn't happen actually. We were out on the island and I came back and he was gone. We love you Billy Ray Cyrus with your mullet and we hope that you catch lots and lots of fish and live happily ever after and we're sorry we didn't see you fly away. some downtown stuff to do before we go do something super exciting for me which is sail the sister ship to the Formosa. We're gonna head down to Tavernier and then we're gonna sail back up to Miami and um, yeah I'm really excited to see how she sails. So she's basically identical to my boat so super pumped. Let's go downtown let's go see what we can see and then we're gonna head to the city. On our way downtown, I got a call from an old friend, who you all might remember. So we decided to pick up and head to the beach for a girl's day instead. Everyone put your life vest on. Oh, we're gonna go this way. <laughs> How many girls can you fit in an 11 foot dinghy? I don't know. Oh. Okay. All right, we're headed to the beach, my people. It's gonna be good. Let's do it. So I don't know if you guys remember Katie from the Catamaran Mahalo season four. <laughs> season four. Season four. Yeah. Season four. <laughs> I'm back. Yes. <laughs> and we've got Leandra in the future seasons, and we're trying to round up the old girl crew. The 
big thank you to Bogue RV for our new SUP board that Leandra's writing. Check the link below for a discount. We ate our tacos and now we're playing spoons. <laughs> Cyril is the biggest loser. We're playing sporks. Sporks, <laughs> yes. Okay. We gotta get you, you have to watch this game. I don't know if you guys have ever played it before, but um, I'm not gonna explain it to you. Get on the Googles. Basically the last person without a spoon is the biggest loser. So. focused trying to flick the cards like into yeah. my lap to buy myself like an extra moment. <laughs> Next day we all hopped in the car and headed to Tavernier from West Palm Beach. It was about a three hour drive. Once we arrived we saw the sister ship to our Formosa 51. This particular Formosa 51 was commissioned by the CEO of Kodak back in 1978. She's almost identical to my Formosa, the pirate ship, except for a few little details. You'll notice the front of the cabinets have a different carving, and the floor above the engine is just a little bit higher, leaving space between the top of the engine and the bottom of the floor, and a little less headroom. The person who owned this boat for the last several decades added a lot of really neat details. We got so many ideas of what we'd like to do to our Formosa when we get back to Anacortes, Washington. The front room in this Formosa is kind of a workshop and a storage area, but on ours it's Bianca's room. And when you head back to the captain's quarters, it has the original bed. Ours has a walk around but it still feels like home. And we're off, folks. Let's go see what she can do. We left the dock and we headed through a narrow canal, which then spit us out in the keys and the water was blue and beautiful. The day started off calm, but it wouldn't end that way. Sirens in my head, so looking at what's ahead. Leandra's at the helm, which is fun. All right. I'm so excited to be sailing this boat. I feel like it's mine. It's just like mine. the old She must be from another time. It felt incredible to be at the helm. I was surprised at her cadence in the water. It really wasn't what I expected. Uh, 
as night fell, and the fetch got a little bit more short, and the wind a little more stiff, we didn't have such a smooth ride all the way back to Miami. But she did well, and I felt safe. It's a brick house of a boat, and I love her. It took Billy Ray Cyrus about six weeks to heal. Over that time, he became really tame, and I thought I was going to be able to keep him forever. But I'm really glad he's flying again. Every seabird I see, I yell out, Billy Ray Cyrus. This is the last episode on season 11. We'll see you in season 12 on Sailing Miss Lone Star in the Bahamas. <laughs>